Okay, so today we're going to do our top five arcade ports to the ZX Spectrum. Uh, the ZX Spectrum was a cheap computer here in the UK, um, but people done amazing things with it. I think they were absolutely amazing, really. Once people got the hang of how to program the Spectrum, some of the arcade ports that came across were really excellent. There were also some really terrible ones. I might do a video on those one day. But today we're going to do what I feel are my top five arcade ports to the ZX Spectrum. So please enjoy. Okay so this is tubing. It's an arcade port to the ZX Spectrum. As you can see it's not extremely colourful although the tubing bobbing up and down there is quite colourful. They've tried to avoid the colour clash, which is evident in the Spectrum games, by using mainly one colour. So, and let's see what we can do. Oh, we've already got hit. And we're on a tube, like an inner tube, or a rubber ring, and we've got to make it down the river, avoiding the everything really apart from these cans which we can throw at other people and the treasures which each time we go through one of those gates we gain some points so this is let's say, tubing an arcade port on a ZX Specky I quite like it, it's a good fun game A little bit difficult to get the controls off if you haven't played it in a while, which I haven't, but uh, took us by surprise there. You don't want to be taken by surprise. So let's get around here and we've popped our tube again on the twig sticking out. Let's take this path because it looks a bit easier. Look out for the crocodile, he's coming to get us. Look through the gates. This tube in it really really plays well, which as you've probably noticed I never do. So yeah it's a good good fun game stuck on the poles there. Stuck on everything at the moment. And the crocodile's got me. Popped it again. See down the bottom there we've got our credits and someone else popped me that time with a, a trident don't mess with Neptune and his tridents I'd say anyway that's tubing nice arcade port on the ZX Spectrum is it one you played? Taking him out with some cans. Go through that bit. Yeah, have you ever played tubing? Let us know in the comments. This being your top five arcade ports to the ZX Spectrum. As you can see, it's canals. That is tubing. Okay, so this is Space Raiders on the ZX Spectrum. This is uh, definitely among my top five. 
paid conversions on the ZX Spectrum. It's a bit chunkier than maybe some of the other games. But it plays really well. And it's also quite an early game. You can see it plays well, I don't play very well. Yeah, this, this is one of the, definitely one of the top five games for the ZX Spectrum arcade conversion games. Anyway, Space Raiders. Uh, moves really well. Plays really nicely. And uh, it's got to be up there. Yeah, when it comes to Space Invaders clones, ones at X Spectrum, there's quite a few of them. A lot of them are rubbish. extra life just now. Oh, that's game over. So yeah, that's Space Raider. That's um, definitely one of my top five arcade conversions for the ZX Spectrum. And um, as you can see, it plays well. It's got some nice sounds for a 48k game. And um, that's that one. Okay, so this is Phoenix, spelt P H W E N I X. Obviously, a Phoenix clone for the ZX Spectrum. This one runs in 16K, which is quite amazing. So, uh, let's go for a Kenston joystick. Like a level, we'll start at level one and see where we go. It's very tough because there's a lot of bullets in this one. These birds do shoot a lot. You do get the shield, obviously. While you're in the shield, you can't. So it's pointless trying to shield too much. I think the trick here is to stay out of their way. Game over. Oh uh, yeah, this is Phoenix. Obviously a clone of the game Phoenix. You'll see how it's spelt just here. It's just a 16k. It's um yeah, I think it's got all of the all of the levels. But I don't think we get to see them today. But this is again another one of those top five arcade games which have been ported to the or oh, cloned on a ZX Spectrum. this level at least. Yeah, now we get the, the eggs which we got to kill before they become the Yeah, 
now we've got the game over. So yeah, that's Phoenix. As I say, it's another really good game on the Specky. A really good arcade conversion. Um, definitely one of my top five. So on to the next. Okay, so this one is Galaxians. Um, Galaxians is a great, uh, great old arcade game. But can the Specky do it justice? I think it does. So here we go. Galaxians move nicely. Got everything in there. You swoop down. And it, this is a 16k game as well. So all this was done with the 16k would work on any of the Spectrum models. Right to the very lowest. So, now which one you had back in the day or even now, you can play this game. It's got to be there, isn't it? The top five arcade ports. And just sound effects are great. The graphics look great. They're big, bold characters, colourful. That's everything on the spec is, I suppose. Because that's the whole idea of it. It was a colour computer. But, I mean, it just plays so well. This last one's a real bugger. But they've, they've got everything in from the arcade. The swoops. The actions move so well. Shooting's quick. Everything's smooth. Controls are fine. And, uh, What's not to like about this one? You like your arcade games from the 70s and 80s then there's another one that you can play on your specy all day long really enjoyable game I mean, it's not a difficult one I don't think the difficulty level is as high as the arcade, but it still takes a little bit of practice to get it right. So, this last one's always a bit of a bugger to get. On the ZX Spectrum. An arcade game ported to the Spectrum which really plays well. This is by Arctic Software. And, um, I could play it all day long. So that's another game. And now on to the next. Okay, so this is Peng. An arcade game port into the Specky, and it's in our top five arcade games, which is white here. Press fire to start. And here we go. If you've never played Peng, the idea is to kill all the balls. So we've dropped them all there. You can only fire up. And as you fire you'll either... You need the screen behind you. Which they can crash into. And that's how you destroy them. So this is Pain, it is an 
arcade game. If you never played it. Yeah, I think they've done a good job of porting this across to the Spectrum. So, so it's a good fun game to play. Have to be careful when you get these specials. Because they changed the gameplay dynamics somewhat. There. Yeah, this is. I think this deserves a place in the top five. What do you think? Do you have a play pain? I think it deserves this this place here. Color Clash. And as you can see, the levels all are pretty close to what I call from the arcade version. I die just as much as I do in the arcade version. is getting from one side to the other so quickly across those ladders. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you ever played Pang if you like the game. I do. Don't know what's happening here. We get a second man in. And when he dies we die. And vice versa. Back to one player now, I think. But we've lost all control. What I do find with this is on emulation it tends to crash a bit. So that, as I say, is paying. Let us know below if you played it. Would it be in your top five? So that was my ZX Spectrum top five arcade ports. What do you think? Would any of those made your top five arcade ports for the ZX Spectrum? Personally, I feel there were some good games there. People have worked really, really wonders to make those games look as good as they do. Considering the Spectrum's limitations, it was never intended as a games machine. And uh, they've managed to get the games from the arcade playing well on the ZX Spectrum. And uh, those are the five that I think are among the best. There are others. What do you think? Tell us down in the comments. Well, there's some really bad ports. Let us know if you think there's some really bad Spectrum ports too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe and all the other good stuff that you can do on YouTube. Uh, it really helps if you can do that. It makes us know that someone's watching. Um, I want to thank all three of you who actually do watch at the moment. And um, yeah, once again, thanks for watching and bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified whenever we upload a new video. You can see another of our videos by clicking on the links.